Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Alexa Grasso versus Valentina Shevchenko 3. And clearly we know that they are 1-0 oh, and 1 against each other with Alexa Grasso with the comeback victory with the rear naked choke, I believe in the fourth round. I believe it's fourth. One and a half years ago was the first fight and then fought her 11 months ago. She's a minus 120 favorite, a 31 years old 5'5 five five with a 66 inch reach. Fighting Valentina who's 23 and four, 23, four, and one, three, one, and one in the last five fights. She's an underdog at plus 110. 36 years old, 5'5", five, five, with a 65 and a half inch reach. Half inch reach advantage for Alexa Grasso. So if you look at this matchup, which we're gonna, let's deep dive right into this. Look at it. They both 15 minutes of fight time to 17 minutes for Shevchenko. She was a longtime champion, as we know. Strikes landing per minute is 4.67 to 3.28. Striking accuracy is 43 to 52, which seems crazy because Grasso has had success with her striking on Valentina. Absorbs 3.95 to 2.11, which again is a little surprising to see this number for Valentina because Grasso has been able to connect. She's been able to drop her. We've seen it before. Defense is 58 to 62, 62%. Striking defense seems crazy to me. Here's where it can be fun. Takedown average is 0.41 for Grasso, 2.56 for Shevchenko. She hasn't really been able to implement that game on her. She's had some success here and there sprinkled in, but not really. Accuracy is 45 to 63. Takedown defense is 59 to 71. Her 71 takedown defense seems crazy, but, uh, you know, it, yeah. And then... Again, you look at this, the first fight, Valentina up on the uh, significant strikes, 87 to 59. She had four takedowns in that first matchup with one submission attempt from Grasso and got it in the, late in the fourth round. Second fight, the draw, Shevchenko, uh, Grasso had one knockdown. It was 84 to 80 significant strikes, four takedowns, one takedown for Grasso, two submission attempts apiece. I believe one of those came from a late back take. I still think Shevchenko won three, uh, three rounds, clear as day, and that happened to be the one round that I thought she did win. The stupid Mike Lee judge, I believe who it was, gave Grasso, uh, made it like a, a draw in that round. I, I, I don't even know. Oh, me, I guess gave it to Grasso. Ah, it was fucking, it was weird. Whatever it was. Not good. You know, not good. And if you look here in her in her long reign of wins, long reign of wins, you know, two takedowns, two takedowns, two takedowns, one takedown, three takedowns, five takedowns, seven takedowns, three takedowns. Both girls had three takedowns. I actually thought Talia Santos won this matchup. Three takedowns with three submissions. And then she took Grasso down four times in the first one, four times in the second fight. The, the biggest difference in both of the, in, especially in that second fight, was the, I believe, the second round where Grasso was able to drop her with, like, a shovel uppercut. It was a weird uppercut. But it was, like, a shovel as Shevchenko was trying to, because they, cl they closed distance, they had a shot, and she threw the shovel, or they had an exchange, she threw the shovel uppercut. It was a weird, not on, like, a normal one, it was, like, a hook uppercut, and... Uh, was able to drop her she rolled she got up and she kept continuing so which was you know obviously weird but let's see what it was so round one 29 to 35 percent for Shevchenko 66 to 51 for Grasso uh, 26 to 50 for Shevchenko 40 to 44 for Shevchenko 35 to 46 for Shevchenko and I'm sorry but 30 seconds if that on someone's back after losing the whole round does not win you that round screw you mike lee screw you if you were the judge on that one and at distance 83 percent landed for shevchenko at distance um uh Grasso had a lot of success in the clinch and at distance at 60 to 36 percent i'll show you right here 30 36 to 60 right there right there um, and then tar landed by target 76 to 7 to 16 for uh, Shevchenko, 76 to the head, and then a little bit more variety for Alexa Grasso legs and to the head. You know, and I believe it's not really going to say. So 
Shevchenko was four for seven under takedowns and takedown attempts. I mean, she was just went, kind of winning everywhere. She had eight and a half minutes of control time. That's where this fight is going to be decided. Right there. The control time. I mean, look at it. Look at it. it, it it's, it's, where's this freaking, um, okay, so Grasso had a minute 30 at the end of round number five. Went for her submission attempt. That's the one submission attempt. It was a reversal. Oh, okay, so that was in the third round. At 12 seconds. And Mike Lee gave her the third round. Oh, my goodness. Three, three minutes and 16 seconds for Shevchenko with also one submission attempt. A revise that reversal for Grasso. Weird. 40 of 51 total strikes. She looked dominant down there until she got reversed. And then Shevchenko got a takedown in the uh, second round. Three minutes and three seconds on the ground there. And then one of two in the first. One minute, 20 seconds as well down there. And again, she got dropped uh, in the second round. Second round. So if you want to make the argument the drop was the biggest moment in the second round, okay, cool, fine. Grasso wins the second. She also lost three minutes and three seconds on the ground. She didn't do anything there, but she did drop her. So I'll give her that. First round, Shevchenko. Sec uh, third round, Shevchenko. Fourth round was pretty close, I, I think. Yeah, that one was pretty close. And then the um, fifth round, I thought, was clearly Shevchenko. 41 of 68. Neither one got a takedown. One submission attempt for Grasso at 130 control. Either way, I thought Shevchenko won three rounds out of five. Pretty clearly, to be honest. 84 of 80. A lot of, a, a, a crap lot of, of strikes attempted. 203 to 179. Six of eight. Wait. Blah, 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 blah. Where was it? Total takedowns was four for seven. And when she got the takedowns, 120 here, 303 here, 306 here. Oh, less than a minute here in the fourth round, and then she didn't get a takedown in the fifth, and she was also on the ground for a minute 30 in the fifth round. But yeah, I, I really, really like Shevchenko in this one. There's a little, a little things she can... Um, capitalize on like when she gets those takedowns make sure they're counting make sure she's doing damage to take away the possibility of Grasso stealing those rounds or confusing judges like if you have Mike Lee there make sure you make it you know apparent that you're winning those rounds it, it's it's pretty clear you know only the one knockdown which was the second round which you could argue that Shevchenko still won it with three minutes and three seconds of control time. It was a drop to where she wasn't didn't even fall on her back. She rolled, got up, and kept going, which is interesting. I do not give Grasso a third round just because she got her back with 12 seconds. And then, yeah, she had three minutes and 16 seconds of uh, control time on the ground. Come on. And she was 40 or 51, so don't tell me she wasn't active. She was clearly active. Oh, actually, you know what? I can look and see. It should tell me. Ground, 7 of 13. Yeah, 7 of 13, that second round. That's what that was. So, there we go. Distance, 67 to 158. So, she needs to be in close. As you see, Grasso also wasn't very successful at distance. 51 of 160. Leg, 18 of 30. 13 of 13 for Shevchenko. So, add more leg kicks. Make sure if you get her down to make it apparent that you are winning 100% of those rounds. Make sure you take advantage of that. You know, body 6 of 8, 12 of 22 for Grasso. You got to check those leg kicks. You got to keep her at distance. You are, you outlanded her by 16. You also threw less than less by 2. In the clinch, Grasso was very successful, 31 of 35. Probably, probably do 17 of 17 for Grasso in the clinch in the second round, 9 of 10 in the fourth round for Grasso. But Shevchenko, I like her to win this matchup. I think she gets a decision, but a clear, clear 3 2 victory. And as always, guys, subscribe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did want to look at something with Grasso actually, real quick. So. Uh, da, 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 da. She lost against Tatiana Suarez, who's a very good grappler. Uh, got a, she got rear naked choked 244 into that fight. Felice Harry also beat her. She was getting beat up. She did get taken down twice. 
beat her, uh, uh, Felice Harry beat her again. Yeah, I, I, I really, really like Shevchenko to win this. I thought she clearly won the first one. But yeah, Shevchenko, 3-2 decision. She will be champion again. If she doesn't, she's probably retiring. But Shevchenko. As always, guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know who you were picking. And as always, peace.